Gary is a child molester. He's a monster. And he did it to my daughter, Amy, when I was younger. When I was eight years old, I remember him taking me off the bunk bed onto the floor, had a white uh, sock and put it over my mouth and I just passed right back out. I woke up on the floor and my shorts were off of me. I told some family, they didn't believe me. My sister has always been a liar. She's lied about everything and I think she's lying about this too. So it all started off with Tanya saying my dad molested her daughter. She just came in one day and she said, hey, you know, he's touching my daughter. And she said that she took her to the doctors to get examined and that there was evidence of her being touched. But no one ever came to my house. No one ever knocked on my door, CPS, cops, nothing. So if she did take her to the hospital, you know, the cops would have showed up at my house to arrest my dad, but that never happened. One day I was bathing my daughter <laughs> and I went to wash her. And she said, ouch, mommy. And I said, what, baby? And she said, Peppa touched me, kitty. And I was in shock for a minute. Wrapped her up in a towel and went to the hospital. The police came to the hospital after they did the rape kit on my daughter. Went back to the house and he was gone. CPS was there, but they didn't investigate. I was there that day. I was the one that was babysitting, so I know that did not happen. After Tanya said all these things, like everybody lost contact, everybody stopped talking to everybody, and she's just making posts or commenting on my posts, accusing and telling everyone that my dad is a child molester and that he had touched my niece. Just last week, me and her was talking on the phone, and that's when I found out that uh, she's now accusing him of touching her at a younger age. What hurts me the most is that he did that to me and my daughter. And it hurts that now he picked him over me when he has never been in our life. My dad is saying that he thinks Tanya is making this up because she robbed my grandma of $8,000 and she also stole a $1,000 ring off my dad so my grandma and my dad pressed charges on her and she went to prison. My dad's thinking Tanya's just out to get him. That's why she's making all this up. I did steal that jewelry. Didn't have a mom or dad, nobody there. And it, it was just an easy come up on money. For him to say that I'm making it a better revenge is ridiculous. I'm in the middle. You know, like, I know my dad's not that person, so I know, like, it, it's not. And Tanya, she's my sister, you know. I got her back, too, but this is a sticky situation that I want no part in. It wouldn't surprise me if she fails. I know I'm going to let pass my lie detector test because I'm telling the truth. And today is going to be shown. I want him to know that everybody in the world is going to know that he's a monster. Gary, how do you feel about what your daughter, Tanya, is saying? I'm hurt. I'm, I'm furious. I I'm, I'm literally just don't understand. There's no way in the world that I would even consider touching any of my grandbabies like that, let alone her. It's just, that's just sick, Steve. It's just yeah. literally sick. So you didn't molest your daughter, you didn't molest your granddaughter? No, sir. So she's saying not only her. No, absolutely not. But her daughter. Absolutely not. Okay. She said you put a sock over her nose Never. and mouth to knock her Never out? Never happened. Why do you say this is a revenge plot? Uh, because years ago, she... Uh, came to my house. I was staying with my mother at the time. She came to the house. My mom left jewelry around at the house. She came to the house with a couple friends. <clears throat> and I guess she actually thought that it was an easy thing to get. And we did everything we possibly could to give her a chance from going to jail, from going to prison. Look, just give my mom the money back. $8,000. She stole eight grand eight, in cash? Eight, no, $8,000 in jewelry. Oh, in jewelry. In jewelry, yes. Yeah, she okay. took... Uh, yeah, eight thousand dollars, and and we had to hunt it, hunt it down. She, how uh, how did you hunt it down? Well, I confronted her and the other person, partner in crime, and that person said that she's the one that took it. So you so she wouldn't give it back, and you called the police. Uh, she wouldn't give. She refused to give it back. So we had to go to the pawn shop, 
And when we went to the pawn shop, my mom identified and my don identified my ring, called the police, made a police report. And, and they her, arrested her. And they arrested her. And you, did you have to go to court? No, I didn't. My mom did. Okay, and, and, and did she take a plea deal? Yes, sir. And how long did she go to prison for? Uh, for five months. Wow. Five, you sent your daughter to jail for... Uh, listen, I'm not judging you. No. I mean, I think... I'm just saying, everybody's different. I, I'm, I'm not criticizing one bit. I think if my daughter would steal from me, I would be... And I say it all the time. Being stolen from is terrible. It's, and, and especially if it's from a family or friend that you allow in your house, that's even worse than a stranger coming right. in. Um, I don't know if I'm sending my daughter to prison, though. You know what I mean? But, like, you gave her a chance. I so, gave her many chances. Yeah. Many chances. And so you think that these allegations are coming around because of, because of that? Because Provisions, she, yes. Yeah. So when she gets out of prison, do you reconcile with her? Uh, no. I, she, she got out of prison, and um, I really haven't heard anything from her. Yeah. I tried the best I could. Daughter. My granddaughter. It was shortly after she got out of prison. And it was, it was just... When, when did you a, find out a, about you molesting your daughter? Just, just a few days ago. Oh, just a few days ago. A few days you had ago. never heard about it? No, sir. So at, she just comes up and says, hey, by the way, Dad, you molested me. No, she didn't tell me personally. Who's she called Natalie, and she told her that I just want you to know that he touched me, raped me when I was eight years old. And I am blown away by this, literally blown away. So <clears throat> has uh, CPS or police ever contacted you? No, sir. Not for your granddaughter and not for your... No, sir. Never been questioned? Nope. And she posted on social media about this? Yes, sir. She's posted on social media that you're a child molester. Yes, sir. That, that's... That's pretty bad because social media now is like it's, everywhere. Everybody's on it, yep. uh, constantly on it, which makes me sick. It was she posted a family Christmas picture, had my grandkids, my daughter, her husband, posted it up there, and Tanya had made comments about uh, you need to be careful of your kids. He, you're you're living with a child molester. He'll touch your kids and you'll find out. Oh, you know, not you're not even touch me. You're not even touch my daughter. Stay away from me. You know you did. Stay away from the me. The truth's going to come you're, out today. No, no. Oh, yes, I, it's I, coming I out today. I bet you one thing. The whole world you, sees it You are now. a lying, the whole sick world individual. Is you know what? You, you have hurt me so bad. You can't even imagine. You know imagine. what you did to me? What? I nothing. was eight. Zero. I did nothing. I was eight years you're old. You're mad at me because you took your life from me. You took my life from me. I wasn't there in your life. You met your grandmother only one time? Uh, I'm sure I met her when I was little, but when I got older, I only met her one and time. And you stole from her? Yeah, I did. I stole a ring. Okay. I was uh, eight years old, and when I did that, when he molested that, you? Yes. When you I were stole eight. that jewelry, that's way before I even had my okay. daughter. Way before I even got pregnant with my daughter. Okay. Let me ask you this: When you were eight years old, he, you say he did what to you? He took me off my bunk bed. I, we was all in the room together with my sisters. You took me off my bunk and bed. And you're a you freaking lying You took me off my bunk bed. You're lying. And put a white sock yeah, imagine in that. my face. Imagine that. There's no I way. remember him taking me off the bed and laying me onto the floor. The white sock he put on my face to knock me right back out. It had like a chemical I on it? I have no idea what was on it. I still don't know what it was. But it knocked you out. Yes, it knocked me right back out. And I woke up later on on the floor still with my pants off of me. And did the police ever arrest your dad? No, he was nowhere to be found. So he's... He was gone. Forever? He was gone. Forever? He... Dude, he left Kentucky. Okay, how long has he been gone for? I haven't seen him in 11 years, so now... Okay, he says eight, you said 11. Uh, it's been 11. Okay. So the police can't find him? Here he is. Where, where, where are you hiding for 11 years? Um, I live in Florida. She know where I was at. I bet you did, You, Ryan. you were there? I You're bet not you hiding, did. No, I'm, in, I'm, I'm working as a mechanic. I'm staying with my mom. And you filed she taxes there. and everything? Yes. You got a Florida driver's oh, license? of course I did. You're a liar. You're how, a liar. Natalie, we never went anywhere. Him out for me. How could you pick not him up for me? Not even. That's irrelevant. You did. That's you did. You hit him out. If you, you got touched, why the you bring your daughter around him?
Because Why? I was trying to I make... I would never break him! I was my trying. baby girl! That's you not know, here! You know, she's made these allegations against your dad that she was molested at eight years old and that uh, he molested your niece, her, her daughter. Um, and she admits that she stole from her grandmother, from her dad. She went to prison for five months. Kind of Kind of hard to lie out of that one, you know, when your name is on yeah, that well, pond she, clip. Yeah, well, she went so to prison. You might as well admit it now. Okay. Do you believe that your dad either molested her Hell or no. your niece? Hell Do you no. find that unusual? You never met your father-in-law or sister-in-law? Yeah, I found out. Uh I was kind of noticed that. It's an unusual situation, right? Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah. What, what do you want to add to all this? Uh, that I love my wife and I believe everything she's telling me, and y'all two shouldn't gang up on her. Yeah. Lying. Uh, Lucas, lying? what if your okay. wife lying. is lying about these sexual allegations? I'm going to feel, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't believe she's lying. Right. What if she, okay, uh, Gary, you took a lie detector test. And we asked you a bunch of questions. I get security around him. Uh, oh, you won't need that because I'm right here. That's I'm what I'm saying. My damn self. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay. We yeah. asked Gary, did you ever it? move your daughter Tanya when she was a minor child from the bed to the floor so you can gauge in inappropriate sexual acts to her? You answered no. Did you place a sock over your daughter Tanya's mouth and nose when she was a minor child to cause her to black out? You answered no. Did you ever touch your daughter Tanya for your own sexual gratification? You answered no. Did you touch your granddaughter for your own sexual gratification? You answered no. Did you at any time engage in any inappropriate sexual acts to your granddaughter? You answered no. The results came back the same to each one of those five questions, and it came back that Gary told the truth. I'm so, number one, relieved that I don't have to hear this crap anymore, and I'm hurt. I'm angry. I'm angry. I feel she owes me an apology. She owes her daughter an apology. Tanya, you took a lot of time to talk. We asked you, do you know for an absolute fact that your father, Gary, sexually molested you? You answered yes. Did you fabricate the story that your dad, Gary, placed, placed a sock over your nose and mouth to cause you to pass out? You answer no. Did you fabricate the story that your daughter told you that your dad Gary touched her privates? You answered no. Did you coach your daughter by helping her say that her papa touched her private area? You answered no. Did you fabricate that your father molested you to get revenge for you getting arrested for the theft of jewelry? You answered no. Uh, the results came back all the same and they came back that Tanya did not tell the truth. Y'all got me four hours of sleep. Just a uh, freaking uh, chicken. I would like a new tag. Don't, don't make up excuses. No, no, hold on, never. hold on. I have to ask about this. You only got to eat a chicken? Uh, a chicken, shrimp. And that's why you failed my lie detector no, test? I was on four hours of sleep on a freaking airplane. I never got on the airplane before. No, hey, I hey, you know what? I'm asking you as a husband, right? Like, I'm fortunate enough I'm married to a really good woman who hasn't done really anything stupid in her life, you know? So I never had to tell her, like, hey, honey, give it up. Like, you know, first of all, you're going to have to make this up to me because I've been living with <laughs> Wow, man. Is that something you want to say to your wife? I don't want to get slapped. Yeah. <laughs> I, all you have to do is say, I made a mistake. I'm really sorry. Let's try to work it out. Hi. You don't want to say you're sorry. Yes, I am sorry. And I'm sorry that I think it's you and I remember your face. You, know what? I would like you get the hell off my stage. <laughs> get over it, man. Yeah, you made I, a mistake. Look, that, say you're sorry. Move on. I, look, I agree. <laughs> I, I moved on. I, I knew what kind of a dangerous, and she yeah. just keep, keep coming on. And yeah. I, I feel bad for, for my granddaughter. And uh, 
I'm sure I'll see you in a couple weeks. Yes, right. actually. Yeah, wait to, wait to. <laughs> Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.